So today I just want to talk about some of the points you need to look out for when you know it's time for that new kitchen. Now some of these are not going to be relevant to you, but some of them will resonate deep with you when it comes. So I'm going to just point out a couple of a couple of bullet points that will give you an idea on what is happening to your kitchen and why you need to prove it. Now the first one is people telling you you need a new kitchen. Now that happens to me quite a lot because people are always a bit wary when I'm turning up to their house. They're I'm going to wonder what I'm going to say and what my opinion is going to be of their their kitchen. But you know that's me because of my industry and what I do. But it's always a telltale sign when someone tells you it's time to update your kitchen. The second one could be like outdated colours. You know your, your tiles are out of date, your colours are out of date, your flooring's out of date, your worktops are out of date. These sort of things are just telltale signs. You just time for to really give it that new lease of life. The next point could be your hinges are starting to fail. Because on a lot of cabinets, when they get to a certain age, the hinges do start to fail, the carcasses start to fall to pieces, the doors are not closing properly, they're always staying open. One of the big ones is when your kickboard, your plinths, keep falling down. There's nothing worse than coming home and seeing your kitchen plinth hitting the floor again. The other thing can be things like your, your sink. If you've got a stainless steel sink, after time, they can be very scratched from all the knife and the forks that keep getting dropped in the sink. They start to get a bit worn as well. Same with kitchen taps, they start to wobble, the valves start going, the, the, they start to corrode because the hard water's really got involved with it. You know, there's lots of these elements of lighting. Some people have still got fluorescent tube lights still on the ceiling, which obviously makes that kitchen look quite drab and needs that update, that new lease of life. So there's lots of elements when it comes to wanting to get that new kitchen. And there are just a few I've touched on. And like I say, some will resonate, some won't. But like I say, it just gives you an idea on what to think about when you're looking to get your new kitchen and them telltale signs of your kitchen starting to fail. So I hope that helps. And please go and check out all my blogs, videos, and articles because they're all designed to help you with your home improvement project. So go check them out and I'll see you next time.